So in this box is an air cleaner for my soft tail street bob. So let's open it up and have a look at it. So what I got here is the Screaming Eagle Extreme Flow air cleaner for the soft tail street bob. And as you can see, I've also got the ratchet air cleaner cover there. So the reason why I went with this air cleaner is because it's pretty close to the stock air cleaner in size. And when you run the fall controls, you're limited as to what air cleaners you can put on your soft tail street bob. So let's take the stock one off and whack this one on. So now that I've removed the stock air cleaner, it's time to assemble the new one. So the first thing to do is to install the throttle body cover to the back plate. Make sure you don't do them too tight because you don't want to snap them off. That will be a nightmare. Next thing to do is to install the gasket. First remove this adhesive tape. And then these rubber O-rings into those grooves there. And it's always best to apply some grease to the O-rings. Then install the backing plate. So it's important not to get the breather bolts too tight because you want to install these bolts as well. Next thing to do is to apply the breather tubes that they provide you with. Now install the air filter mounting bracket. Next thing to do is to put the air filter on and then the ratchet cover. So to install the ratchet cover, you install this spacer. Uh, you can put this backing plate on there, that's optional. And they'll just block off the front there. Uh, I don't really like the look of that. I want the open look, so I'm gonna put the spacer behind the ratchet cover and then the bolt through and then straight on. Alrighty, so let's polish off all my fingerprints and we'll stand back and have a look at it. I'll also sit on the bike and show you how close my leg comes to the air cleaner with the fall controls. So I've got to say I really like the look of this aftermarket air cleaner. It looks a hell of a lot better than that stock one. The stock one just looked really cheap and nasty and I hated it from the moment I bought the bike. I will say one thing though, if you do install an aftermarket air cleaner, it's extremely important that you do get a tune to match as your bike will run lean because the air fuel ratio is going to be out. But in saying that, I'm going to ride this to Harley Davidson, which is about 100 kilometers away. I'm going to get them to tune the bike to suit the aftermarket exhaust and the aftermarket air cleaner I've put on. You could say, well, you might do damage in that 100 kilometers. It is very unlikely that I'll cause damage in a ride that short. So I will chance it, 
call me an idiot, but hey, that's what I'm gonna do. You might say, why didn't you just take it to Harley and get them to install the air cleaner? Well, it's an extremely easy install. Uh, and as you know, I like working on my bike and doing it myself. Also, it would have cost me maybe $100 or more to get them to install it. So that's the reason why I installed it and I didn't get the dealership to do it. Anyway, let's sit on the bike and I'll show you how close the air cleaner comes to my leg. Alrighty, so that's about my standard leg positioning when I'm riding the bike. And as you can see, it doesn't touch my leg. It actually sits closer to the engine than what the stock one does, which is great if you're running the forward controls like I am. So let's hop off the bike, start it up and have a listen to it. Alrighty, so that's going to do it for this one. Thanks very much for watching and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.